A third arrest following this graphic video of a Baltimore police sergeant being surrounded and attacked. The video shows him being spit on and kicked as he tries to arrest a suspect. Well, obviously, we're definitely engaged in a situation that is horrific in terms of the violence. Well, the video is now raising serious concerns about the conditions police face on city streets, and it comes at a time when the department is desperately trying to recruit new officers. Well, here's what we know right now. Three people are now charged in that Friday attack. A 17-year-old who's being charged as a juvenile, a 23-year-old from Dundalk, and a 20-year-old man. And tonight, we're learning this isn't the first time the 20-year-old has been in trouble with the law. And we have team coverage of the city in crisis. We begin with crime and justice lead investigative reporter Joy LaPola, who was the first to uncover and report on the suspect's violent past. Joy? Mary, online court records show Donnell Burgess faced first-degree attempted murder charges back in 2016. In that case, three children were among those held at gunpoint inside a home that eventually led to a standoff with police. The headline reads, four men arrested in Northwest Baltimore home invasion robbery. The face that is front and center is that of Donnell Burgess, who at the time was 16 years old. Police set up a perimeter and command center. This is no longer a home invasion, but a standoff with police. Online court records show Burgess was charged as an adult in that case, but the 16-year-old avoids standing trial as an adult after defense attorneys convince a circuit court judge the juvenile justice system would be better suited for his needs. Within 10 months of that decision being made, Burgess was arrested on a drug distribution charge that online court records show was never prosecuted by the state's attorney's office. And records show Burgess catching even more breaks. That brings us to this latest case. <laughs> Burgess is now 20 years old and facing charges in connection to this assault on a Baltimore police sergeant. An attack onlookers recorded around 8 o'clock on Friday night along Pennsylvania Avenue. Detectives with the Baltimore Police Department's Warrant Apprehension Task Force arrested Burgess over the weekend. Sources telling me he is one of the individuals in the video you just saw kicking the officer. Reporting live in North Baltimore tonight, Joy LaPola, Fox 45 News. Joy, thank you. Now with crime, the focus of the upcoming mayor's race. The candidates are responding. Fox 45 spoke with State Senator Mary Washington and City Council President Brandon Scott. No one should be assaulted by a group of people, especially someone who risks their lives every day to serve the citizens of Baltimore. We have to write a new chapter in our city when it comes to our relationships between our Baltimore Police Department and the residents in Baltimore City. Uh, we know that it has been, there's been so much tension and there's a built up of uh, trauma, uh, disappointment, anger and frustration, I believe, on both sides. And now's the time for us to come together uh, to address and create a peaceable city. In a statement, Mayor Jack Young calls the video a reminder of the dangers our law enforcement officers face on the job. He goes on to say that type of behavior will not be tolerated and each person will be arrested and held accountable. Thiru Vignaraja, a mayoral candidate, says this video is nothing to laugh at and sadly encapsulates many of the challenges and tragedies both our officers and citizens encounter on a daily basis. And T.J. Smith, a former police spokesperson himself released a statement on Twitter saying what we see in this video is an attitude and culture of no consequences. Now, we have reached out to former Mayor Sheila Dixon and her reaction to the video. We haven't heard back at this time.